this is an extremely important graph. Um, if we can go through this correctly, I'm hoping it will show you how um, the multinational persuaded, lobbied, bribed FSANZ to lower the, um, instead of having a zero tolerance of impurities, to say it's okay to start drinking cabendazin. In two April 2012, this is when the um, statement came out saying that a uh, letter from Catherine King to Nick Xenophon uh, that as from April 2012 there will be no cabendazin imported. But when um, Lyon and Nathan realised that uh, what's been happening is that they have been ever increasing the proportion of their product coming into Australia as shown by A, B to D, F. They would make sure that stayed like that. So they then said, if you allow, uh, don't allow competitism to come in, then uh, there will not be uh, enough orange juice in Australia. And they were quite right, there would not be. This is what the market requires. This is how much they are producing and this is how much the um, Australian growers are producing. So by persuading them or bribing them to say it's okay to drink cabendazin, it meant that the status continued as it was. So when we're looking at this situation, we find that the current status is that um, the Australian production of, of healthy juice goes from B, C to F, G, meaning that more cabinetism is coming in and more farmers are going broke. So that when we look at uh, that status continuing, that was April 2012. So April 2013, we find that this is continuing, more farmers are going broke. We get to 2014, and we've got even more farmers going broke. This will continue on forever until uh, they've all been wiped out. And this is what the um, council are saying. Yes, we've got to accept that this is going to happen. And also one of the um, citrus groups is saying we have to accept the inevitable. So what we want to be doing is to uh, get to, if we look at, not 2012, but a time a couple of months into the future where we look at point B, and this is where we want to be able to uh, have legislation coming in that will allow Australian farmers to be getting $350 per tonne or whatever it is that they need to survive on. And so once they know that uh, they have a future and their bank managers realise they've got a future and we all realise they've got a future, the farmers and the bank managers should be able to talk together to plan on how to phase in more and more production of healthy Australian oranges. Now what this does is that it means that what we're aiming for is for Australian production to be going BC to EG to ever increasing prosperity. And what that's doing is we want to be phasing out uh, the input of uh, cabendazin so that it will be following AB to DE until finally that phases out and we, we can all live a good healthy life.